here, it is our pleasure to welcome an ITV student to the stage. This year, when it came to make the selection, we could only think of one person, but he was still a senior in high school. So, breaking with tradition, we would like to welcome a familiar face to the stage. Mr. Ian Pennypacker started the ITV program as a second grader at Kathleen Elementary with Ms. Miller and Ms. Broden. He continued his love of ITV at Kathleen Middle with Mr. Hero and Mrs. Yerix, and is now takes TV production with Mr. Murray at Kathleen Senior. After graduation this year, Ian plans to attend Polk State College and then further his studies at the university level. Also, like many of our previous guest speakers, he has plans to start his own production company and eventually may return to the classrooms to teach TV production. Please help us give a warm welcome to Mr. Ian Pennypacker. Good evening, everyone. Quite honestly, I never could have imagined giving this speech tonight. Uh, it seems like just yesterday I was attending my first Polk County ITV award after my second grade year. That was 10 years ago, 10 years. Some of you here tonight weren't even born when I was attending my first awards. I've always heard that time flies when you're having fun. And through my time at Polk County ITV, I can verify that statement is indeed a fact. During these fun times, I now recognize that video has such a unique ability to pull in all sorts of people. Video shows itself as a force that can reach out and pull together all sorts of different people. I felt that pull from Polk County's ITV and its educators all the way back in second grade, and it never lost its grip. Not even COVID could destroy the force of video. I don't remember much from my time in second grade, but I do remember my advisor telling me that when the red light is on, you don't stop talking. So that red light and that very stern warning followed me into middle school where I would continue my love for video and I spent all of my time learning as much as I could from Mr. Hero. Each time, sorry, each year I competed for the coveted male solo position. Each time somebody else's name was called, Mr. Hero was there to support me and work towards that ne next level. Reflecting on that experience, I can now see how much character was built from those losses. Now, I cannot lie, there's a few tears that were shed along the way. But in the words of my favorite director, Quentin Tarantino, I don't think there's anything to be afraid of. Failure brings great rewards in the life of an artist. Granted, I wouldn't know what these awards would be until later. <laughs> Now my high school experience was an interesting start. After years of being excited to learn from Mr. Gash and the Ignition TV program, Gash had to step away during my eighth grade year. So from August to December, I sat in my Digital Video Tech 1 class wondering what could have been in place of the substitute teachers that I saw instead. Then this new teacher came from about 15 hours away and within weeks he moved me up from my Digital Video Tech 1 class went into the advanced class. That teacher and a fantastic group of seniors decided that I would be a great option for male solo. Freshman year, male solo. Even though I didn't feel prepared for it, the group of seniors could not be, sorry. Even though I did not feel prepared for it, the team around me clearly knew what they were doing and I could not be more thankful. So thank you, Dominique Almanzan. Thank you, Paul Jackson. Thank you, Matthew Yule, and thank you, Mason Swartz. And most of all, thank you, Mr. Murray. While I could say those awards were all up to me, even though they have my name on it, it was a team effort each and every year. Through these years, I can see different areas that built me to who I am today. Where Mr. Hero taught me to accept my losses and recognize my strengths, Mr. Hero taught, Mr. Murray taught me to celebrate my successes and strive to outdo myself each and every year. Murray also allowed me to have creative freedom in exploring the community around me and pushing me to recognize just how important those members were. In my time as a Polk County ITV student, I've been all over the county for short films, news reports, commercials, you name it. I've acted in a silent film, a horror film, reported on local sculptures, eateries, and festivals, and recorded and edited hours of footage, which reminds me, Thank you, Mom, for letting me stay out late all those nights 
And a bit of advice, be nice to your parents, because if you think you need them now, just wait until high school. Going back to Tarantino again, he once said he considers himself a student of cinema, like he is going for his professorship in film, and the day he dies is the day he graduates. I can relate to this now more than ever, because in a few weeks, I'll be walking the stage at the RP Funding Center to receive my diploma and eventually go off to college. I recognize this is only a step, but a step means you're moving. Polk County ITV has kept me moving for the past 10 years, and I can only hope that the next 10 years will present me with the same opportunities and experience that the past have. I could not be more appreciative of what ITV has meant for me, and I would like to thank the Polk County ITV for making this possible and asking me to speak here tonight. So congratulations on the work that got you here, and good luck.